There comes a time in every genealogist's life that changes the way that they think. And most of the time, this happens when they solve a long-standing family mystery, or they learn that something which was previously common knowledge actually turned out to be false. Uh, I myself had one of these moments, and it reshaped the way that I thought about my family forever. So today on Genealogy is Fun, I'm going to tell you all about my great-great-grandfather, Issy Kohlberg, and share his story with you. Isaac Kohlberg was a baker from the region of Galicia in the former Austrian Empire. And in June of 1905, he and his wife Sarah Hechler um, sailed from Hamburg to New York City. His wife was from a city called Kolomaya in Ukraine. And we know that they sailed from the city of Lemberg, which is modern day Lviv in Ukraine. Um, they were in possession of $47, which is roughly equal to about fourteen or $1,500 in 2021 dollars. On the ship manifest, the relative mentioned is Isaac's sister Dobrish Kohlberg. And researching her ended up coming in handy uh, for a reason I'll get to later. For about 10 years, Isaac and Sarah lived in an apartment in Manhattan, and they had three children, Samuel, Minnie, and Dorothy. And Isaac, who went by the, the nickname Issy, continued to work as a baker, and in 1910, he even submitted a petition um, to become a citizen of the United States. Now, he didn't follow through with the application, and it was soon after rejected. But by the time World War I came about, we had a pretty solid answer as to maybe why his petition was rejected and why the circumstances surrounding his attempt to become a U.S. citizen never came to fruition. This is Issy's 1918 military draft card, and as you can see, it contains a shocking bit of information. It mentions that he's a patient in the Central Islip State Hospital, a psychiatric facility in Suffolk County, New York. And on the second page of the draft card, the one word explanation for as to why he was disqualified for military service, insane. On the next two censuses, Issy shows up as a patient in the Central Islip State Hospital. And on his 1930 census, he had been transferred to the Harlem Valley State Hospital, an at the time up and coming facility, which had recently increased its capacity to over 1,000 patients. Sadly, Issy would die in 1930, so that very same year that the census was taken. And due to New York's strict mental hygiene laws, it's essentially impossible to gain access to any of his psychiatric records. Uh, even though he died more than 90 years ago. My family and I have also tried multiple times to get his death certificate uh, to no avail, but we're going to keep trying. It's quite possible that because we requested it during COVID times, uh, that may have been why the delay. But um, yeah, no luck with the death certificate either. Issy's memory was completely shunned by his family due to the stigma of mental illness. And it's a real shame. Not a whole lot is known about his family and that part of his life may have been snuffed out by closed lips. However, I was able to figure out the name of Issy's parents as well as what city he was from through some deep digging and hard work. I located the ship manifests and marriage certificates of two of his sisters, Dora and Freda. 
And both sisters list the same set of parents, Samuel Kohlberg and Anna Rudolph. And also on both uh, sisters' records, it lists the town of Kalush, Ukraine, as where they're from. Uh, unfortunately, Kalush, Ukraine has a frustratingly small amount of available records online. Um, however, I've identified a few Kohlberg families um, and have been researching them for quite some time. Additionally, through DNA matching, I believe I've narrowed down Issy's mother's family, the Rudolph family, um, using DNA and other records to a town called uh, Voynilyv, also in Kalush region in Ukraine. Now, as you can imagine, the rest of my family was pretty surprised to learn this stuff about Issy. Um, because nobody knew he had spent the latter part of his life in a mental facility. Um, so I'm going to continue researching him in hopes of discovering more about him, his life, and his family. Um, but this discovery has made a huge impact on me. Um, it's made me realize that, you know, sometimes if you do enough detective work, you can solve a family mystery that was purposely kept hidden. So... Issy Kohlberg has really uh, probably been the biggest influence on me as a genealogist out of any of my ancestors. And that's all for today, folks. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.